Finding potential hot spots of the coronavirus through sewage. It's a method that scientists hope will eventually help alert the public and help us stay safe in the future. Wastewater could be the key to finding out what geographic areas have higher numbers of people infected with the coronavirus. When you go to the bathroom, that waste can be tested. Dr. Scott Meschke is a UNC graduate and now teaches at the University of Washington in Seattle, where the first cases were reported. His team has already used a similar method in other parts of the world with diseases like polio. On the front end, um, at least with polio, we've seen uh, in areas that we can get up to a month early warning uh, in terms of detection in the wastewater prior to the recognition of clinical cases. And part of that goes to that whole piece of the asymptomatic spread. Many carriers of the coronavirus don't show any symptoms, but are still contagious. Finding the neighborhoods where they live would allow residents to be extra vigilant, but that ability will take time. Plus, there's the regulatory and bureaucratic red tape. So we started collecting samples, went through the approval processes, uh, which at this time is starting to get a little more constrained just because of uh, people's availability to reviews and things. And then we hit the wall with CDC's uh, recommendation of uh, increased uh, containment um, and safety uh, for working with wastewater. <laughs> Last year, Biobot Analytics was hired by the town of Cary to use similar technology to fight the opioid epidemic. Wastewater was tested to identify neighborhoods that have higher opioid use. Now Biobot is also working in other areas to identify coronavirus in wastewater as well. Dr. Meschke says his effort and any other like it could help save a lot of lives and will help us understand if easing social distancing is working. I think that um, this method has the opportunity to also watch the disappearance of the virus from the population. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, Dr. Meschke is one of several other UNC graduates working together on this very project.